what's up guys welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna take you guys through my grocery haul for this week and it's super super simple not a lot of stuff compared to a lot of you know youtubers out there that show you exactly what they buy i'm very very simple i cook mainly the same foods and generally they're all asian cuisine so we just use the same sauces same veggies and a lot of volume right so this is what i usually get bi-weekly and this is what i got for today is i got some noodles right here you can see these are from the asian market that i went to earlier today and the asian market has a lot of things just like noodles um, rice sauces so i went to the asian family market and got me some noodles these are going to last me for like at least a whole month i got two packets of these very very cheap i think the total bill was like 14 dollars, and i also got this rice cake so if you haven't seen my other recipes check out the link over here i got a lot of recipes that you can look and i take you through the whole process on how to make noodles and rice cake i also got some ginger from the asian market not a lot of grocery stores actually have ginger and most places don't even use ginger in the recipes so i got some ginger from the asian market and the total bill for the asian market was about 14 all right so this is the only list i got but that's pretty much what i got for carb sources and then I went to Fred Meyer, which is a local grocery store here in Washington where I get most of my produce. So I got a lot of veggies right here. I got one whole cabbage that's gonna last me like over a whole month. Some bell peppers right here and some tomatillos. So I've been really loving making salsa at home. So learning how to make green salsa is super, super easy and it's pretty cheap. I also got some fries. All right, you guys might be wondering, what the hell? Why are you ordering fries on a diet? Well, actually, these are pretty good in calories and macros. So for three ounces, this is like 120, 140 calories and 22 grams of carbs. So I enjoy these a lot. I have this with like my steak every single like week. So it's super simple. And you guys might notice that I don't have any meat here. It's because I order most of my meat from ButcherBox. And generally, I spend about 270 every single month on, on meat. If you haven't seen my butcher box review and haul, make sure you check the video over here. Super convenient, all organic. I won't go into the details of it, but I spend around 270 to 30 every single month on meat. So if you split that up um, with all the veggies, carbs, everything, I spend around around hundred dollars every single week. So generally, I spend around 300 to 350 every single month on groceries and also my meat and mind you i cook for me and my brother so i split that up into two so it's gonna be a lot cheaper for you if you're buying all your groceries on your own you know this is super simple you can make a lot of recipes just from this alone so let me show you exactly what i'm gonna use all this in my next meal oh one more thing I also got some soy sauce. This is a no soy soy sauce from Whole Foods. I might be allergic to soy and that's why I got this. So I got this no soy soy sauce. And here is all the butcher box. So I have chicken, chicken thighs. I also have some chicken bones as well as salmon and some steaks. So that's where all my meat is. So here, is the bill from Asian Market, about 14 bucks. Fred Meyer, another $14. So that's like about 30 bucks. And the soy sauce is about $5. So I spent about $35 on everything right here. All right, so we're starting off this recipe with a bunch of garnishes. So we got the onions, ginger, and cilantro. So I chopped this up finely, as thinly as possible. Uh, my knife skills aren't the best, but I'm working on it. So this is what we're gonna be using to garnish and season the rice. And with the meat, I'm gonna be using this organic chicken thighs. This is from ButcherBox. Like I said, if you haven't seen my video on ButcherBox, make sure you click the link over here. Um, I also have a code that's gonna save you $30 off on your first box. So this is what I use. I've been using this for the last six months, probably longer, but this has bone in chicken thighs. So I'm gonna cut this up, save the bone because you can use this for broth, you can use this for flavoring, save the bone. Don't throw it away, don't throw anything away, all right? And I also have a video on bone broth over here. Super simple, chicken broth. So 
we're gonna do, we're gonna prep this. The package comes with two chicken thighs. What you wanna do is take out the bone and chop it off into thin slices, all right? Like I said, make sure you save the bone for stock because you can do a lot of things with chicken broth. We're gonna cut this into thin slices, thin chunks, so that it's gonna cook a lot easier in the congee. So you can do thin strips, you can do thin cubes, whatever you like to do. I'm gonna do smaller strips. And since I have like maybe three cups of rice, I'm gonna put two chicken thighs into the congee. Get some protein and it's gonna taste so good. Now, since all your chicken is cut up, I'm just gonna season it, salt and pepper. All right, with your washed rice, Instead of water, we're gonna put chicken broth. It's gonna give it a lot of flavor. I made this a couple days ago, so it's uh, solidified, it's all collagen. It's really good. So we're just gonna pour this in. We're gonna let this boil, and we're gonna cook this rice for a good 20 minutes. Once the soup is boiling, we're gonna stir it just a little bit. All right, look at that, okay? We're gonna turn down the heat to a medium, and then we're gonna cover this for the next, let's say 10 to 15 minutes. See how it goes. We're gonna set a timer and then we're gonna put in our chicken right afterwards. Obviously, all the soup's gone. Gonna turn on the heat. We'll add some more soup to this. So I'm just gonna add in some more. So it's up to you if you want to have it more watery, you wanna have it more thick. I kinda like it in the middle. I like it more thick, but there's like literally no soup. So I'm gonna add some more soup. Now we're gonna add the chicken. And this should cook up pretty fast because it's so thin. So make this in. All right, now this is pretty much almost done. We're just gonna cover this halfway. We're good to go. All right, it's pretty much done. Just gonna give it a taste test. It's so good. Looks pretty basic right now, but we're gonna put the ginger, onions, and cilantro, and it looks so much better. One more thing, put some black pepper, got some ginger, some onions. Put a lot, I love a lot of onions, and some cilantro. And that's my version of kanji. All right, let's give this taste test. So good. Hope you guys like this kanji recipe and, and my grocery haul. If you guys like the video, make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.